All right, y'all. So it's been a minute since we made a Steeler video. Uh, it's a new season, new year. Off season is going on. Big moves are happening. Today was the beginning of the uh, t tampering. Tempering. I don't know. I don't know the exact term. Whatever. But uh, so the Steelers have made a few moves. Uh, so we're gonna add this to the new playlist for this season, 2022. We'll start that playlist. Uh, this will be the first video. So. Steelers are going to be signing Mitchell Trubisky. And all offseason, that's about the only guy that I really wanted other than Deshaun Watson, which I knew we weren't going to trade all. I knew if it wasn't for the allegations, we definitely would have signed it. We definitely would have traded for him. Um, I would have been A-OK -okay with that, but I definitely was not on board with signing or trading for like Garoppolo or uh, Wentz or... Like Winston, none of those guys. The only guy that I actually really would have been cool with would have been um, Mitch Trubisky. And the reason why I'm on board with this is because, you know, obviously he did get overdrafted in that 2017 draft. Uh, quarterbacks in that class were him, uh, Deshaun Watson, and Patrick Mahomes. So, obviously he's not as good as the other two, not even close. But I do like his upside more than Rudolph. And at least what he's shown in the league. Um, you know, he did take the Bears to the playoffs in 2018. They actually had a good record. That was more of a defensive team. And Matt Nagy, actually, in his first year, wasn't really a bad head coach. But ever since then, offensively, Trubisky has never really been put in a great position to su succeed. Their whole line's always been kind of meh. Um, Green Bay has ruled that division, so they kind of win the division, really. Um, I mean, he had Allen Robinson, um, Jordan Howard, I guess. But I just feel like Drabisky's never really been put in a great position to actually do well. So he did come from Chicago. Had a decent first year. Hasn't really been, you know, not a great not a great thrower. But he, has do he does have mobility. So that's why I like him more than Rudolph in this offense. Especially if, it's, if Matt Canada's imprints are going to be more on this year. Because last year was mainly Ben. A little bit of Canada with the play calling, but a lot of the plays were more suited towards Ben style. Canada likes a mobile rollout, kind of moving, kind of mobile quarterback. So I think Trubisky will help with that. And also the fact that compared to Rudolph, uh, Trubisky is not a statue. And so if this offensive line sucks, uh, Trubisky will actually be able to move out of the pocket. Now, hopefully this gets rid of the need to draft the quarterback. I would much rather just stick with Trubisky a year, maybe two. Uh, the financial details of the contract have not come out yet, so that will come out on Wednesday, but it is confirmed they are signing Trubisky. I am on board with this move. Am I expecting some crazy Super Bowl run? No, but I think we can be at least competitive, and I think he gives us a win or two more than what Rudolph could provide. So I like this move. Um, hopefully we can just, you know, just live with him this year. I don't want us drafting someone because this class is ass. And, uh, yeah, so that's the first move. We'll see what's up. We also made a couple other low-key moves, but nothing big. Just typical stealer ask moves, which is where we were signing our own players, build to the draft, and just kind of fill our holes a little bit. But we're not going to go spend no big money on nobody because we just don't do that. That's just not how it is. So that's the end of the video. I'm out.